Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. Today I have the Lux PowerTech 12,000 watt hybrid inverter. This inverter is loaded with features. So in this video, I'm going to unbox this to see what all comes in the kit and also do an overview. And in a future video, I will be doing an install and lots of testing with this inverter. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing and see what all comes with this inverter. Now, the first thing I notice about this inverter is that it's very big. Make sure you lift with a friend because this box is 140 pounds shipped. Far too heavy for one person to be moving around. All right, let's open this box up and see what all comes in this kit. Looking at the shipping box here, it did take a little bit of damage during transit. So I'm interested to see uh, how much foam is included in this package to make sure that even though it was kicked around by shipping, that maybe it has not received any damage. So let's go ahead and pull this open here. All right, the first thing I'm noticing is that some of the components here, it looks like the mounting bracket has found its way out of the packaging and was uh, scooting around here on top of the box. So. I don't know, uh, maybe one more piece of foam over this or a piece of tape might keep that together. So, all right, looks like a mounting bracket here and that will go, looks like there's an arrow pointing up. So we'll have to uh, do an install of this in the next video to see how well this uh, bracket system works. Also two little L brackets. And here is a small box that says, please inquire your local supplier for custom code during registration. Looks like this is the Wi-Fi dongle. So definitely interested in seeing this because the uh, app that comes along with this inverter seems to be fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and open up the rest of this to see what comes in the box. All right, here is a nice big thick piece of foam, which I am glad to see. All right, that is a big inverter. Due to the weight of this, I might break the box down and then pull this out that way because I doubt that I'm able to pick this up by myself here. Let's see what else comes in this kit before we get to the inverter. So here is a little packet containing the user manual. That is a nice thick user manual. I can already tell just looking at the couple of pages I have that they have put a lot of thought into this manual. Full color and seems to have nice clear diagrams. So we will take a look at that here in just a moment. Over here, it looks like we have some of the glands that will go underneath the inverter. Also has a bag full of mounting hardware, and I'm seeing a key in there as well. So these glands just go over the holes of the inverter to allow you to close off unused uh, holes in the system. Another little box over here to the side. These are the included CT clamps. These will allow the inverter to read the main power coming in. And it looks like it comes down to a single plug, which is quite nice to have. So these will go around both of the main of the house. And it looks like the included cord is quite long. Very nice to see. If there's anything else in here, I don't see it yet. So let's go ahead and break this box down and take a look at this inverter. Just as I had hoped, the inverter is tucked away from the box by about three inches and that has prevented any kind of damage as the box had holes in it, the inverter was safe from all that. So, or at least from what I can tell so far. All right, now it is resting upon some more foam. And so I need to find a way to get this out of here so we can take a look at this inverter. I am very excited about this. Okay, let me see if I can free this inverter from its foam coffin. I used to work out, I can do this. It's just 140 pounds. Okay, finally got it out of the foam. I think I'm gonna set it back down so we can take a look at it here with uh, everything uh, cleared away. But I am still gonna leave this box down here uh, just to keep it from getting scratched up any. It took me a moment to get this out of the box and out of the foam, but it is now ready for us to check out here. 
140 pounds, it is definitely a large machine, but it seems to be very well built. The only damage I'm seeing from shipping so far is here on the top cooling slots. It has a bit of a, a dent there in this uh, metal honeycomb uh, structure. But I don't see anything underneath that has been affected by that. So it's just uh, purely cosmetic that that has occurred right there. Let's take a quick look at the Lux Power Tech 12K inverter. So up here you've got your display, which we will go into more detail during the install video. Got a return button, up, down, enter, and it has some lights for fault, warning, and normal. Over here it's got the Lux Power Tech logo, as you can see right there. Down here on this side it has a keyed entry, so you can unlock these three clips here and access the internals. And down here on the bottom you've got your grid and load generator, battery input, COM port, and PV input on this side over here. And that's where those uh, little gland fittings are going to be used for later on. does have a fold-out handle, which I have used already to spin this around. Over here on the side we have the information sticker. This is the Lux PowerTech Grid Support Hybrid Inverter, model number LXP LBUS 12K. The max DC voltage is 600 volts. The MPPT voltage range is 120 to 500 volts. The max DC short circuit current is 34 amp, 17 amp, 17 amp. The max DC current is 25 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp. The nominal AC voltage is 240 or 208. Frequency, 60 hertz. Max continuous AC current, 50 amps. The nominal AC power is 240 or 208, 12,000 watts or 10,400 watts. The adjustable displacement factor range is 0.8 leading and 0.8 lagging. Battery type, lead acid or lithium. And the UPS nominal voltage is 240 or 120, 240 or 120 and 208. Frequency 60 hertz. The max charge and discharge current is 250 amps. The battery voltage operation is 40 to 60 volts. The battery nominal voltage is 48 volts. Max charging and discharging current 250 amps. Max charge and discharge power 12,000 watts. Operating temperature negative 13 degrees to 140 degrees. Moving on to this side, as we saw before, there are slits here for cooling the inverter, which means the fans are down here on the bottom. I'll have to turn this up in a bit so we can see it better, but right under there are the four cooling fans. Now I've been informed that Lux Power has used a high quality fan motor in order to reduce sound, and it is supposed to be extremely quiet under 6,000 watts of output. Turning to this side, it does have another handle that's collapsible over here. Has the on and off switch. Here is a reset stop button. And down here is where you're going to have your communications, such as that Wi-Fi dongle. Two keys are supplied in this kit, so we can unlock these clips. There we go. So they just pop loose like that. Very nice. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, as I open this compartment up, there is a nice foam on here, which is going to make a big difference in sound dampening from my experience with other inverters. Wow, look at this layout, very smooth. Let's start down here on this side. You have your PV input with all three of the MPPT charge controllers. Now these are wire push fittings, so you will just press your wire down in there and if you need to remove that wire, you stick a screwdriver into the top and pull that wire out. So this unit does have three MPPT charge controllers. Over here, if you move down, you've got your battery input. You've got your battery positive, battery positive, battery negative, battery negative. Move over here, you've got your generator, leg one and two, load one and two, grid one and two over here. Very large neutral bar right there. Moving up over here, you can see the communication ports. And so that's where your BMS communication will be plugged into for your batteries. Up top here, you've got breakers for the batteries for both 
uh, positives for battery one and battery two. Over here, you've got load breakers for load one and load two. Very nice to see those. And remember, you also have that disconnect over here on the side if you need to use that one to turn off the PV. One great selling point about this inverter is the extra space that is down here in the bottom of the box. And that will give you room to have your uh, cables neatly tucked in there and not have to touch anything. All right, let's close this lid back up and get that locked back down. Although the top of the inverter does have screws that you could remove, there is a sticker over here that says the warranty is void if this sticker is broken. So there is nothing in the top here that is of any use for a consumer to be getting into. So keep that in mind. I was taking a quick look at the user manual and they have put a tremendous amount of work into this and there is so much information. This one right here is all just the English version of their user manual. And I'm gonna to have to sit down with this and do some studying because there is so much content here. Now the batteries that I have will have to have a specific data cable used with them. I noticed that a data cable was included with this inverter. I'll have to check to see if the pinout on that is gonna work with the batteries I have. Just checking, there were actually two cables and it looks like that one is uh, fully set up there and uh, not sure what it's gonna go with, but what we got and then this one right here looks like it is uh, similar it does have some model numbers on there so uh, I'll have to read into that I'm not sure at this point what these will be going to the included hardware kit has some concrete anchors and it also has some bolts that would be used to go into a wooden wall and so you can mount this using these included pieces looks like it's also got some extra screws nuts and bolts and some extra connectors for making your own cables. Like I mentioned before, this unit comes with CT clamps and this will just clamp over the main coming into your house. Now, because I'm gonna be using my system as an off-grid inverter, I probably won't be using these clamps, but at some point here in my lower shed, when I have the main power coming in, it may be worth giving these a test. We'll have to see. But the cable length here is quite nice very long so you can get from the inverter to wherever your main power is coming in. This little box right here is to house the Wi-Fi dongle and that's just going to be attached to this uh, box under here and it will show you that it is connected or not and it will allow you to uh, monitor this system uh, remotely. Now this inverter can also be plugged up to a computer directly and you can monitor information that way. The mounting plate, I believe, will be on the wall like this with multiple bolts in these holes up here. And then the inverter will rest on this slot right here. And that will give enough uh, support to keep this on the wall. And then it also has these brackets, which I'm assuming will also mount to the inverter at some point. I'm not sure where. And that will give you extra support to keep this from swaying off of that other bracket. And the last thing is this bag of, I call them glands, but they look a little bit different. Essentially, you will be able to remove the uh, knockouts on the bottom of the inverter, and these will go in that place. And so you can uh, put your cables through if uh, need be, and that will allow you to keep a nice, tidy, and clean install. I hope you're subscribed to the channel because I will be doing a full install of this unit and using it to power my off-grid studio. And then later I'll be doing a second install in the house to show it running with all of those loads. And hopefully we will get some good data off of the app as well. The app that comes with this thing is fantastic. You can use both the uh, web-based version of the app or the phone version to be able to change settings and keep your data log and all kinds of fun things. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.